Sing hallelujah to your spirit, to your spirit to the Lord. Lifting up your holy hands. Lift up your holy hands and sing. Sing, sing hallelujah to the king. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh, sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh, sing hallelujah. Brother, sing hallelujah. Sister, sing hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh, sing hallelujah. I say sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh, sing hallelujah. Just this year alone. And see the things that have happened. Both the negative and the positive. In the lives of so many. And in your own life. If you are able to point out one thing. One thing only. That Jehovah God has done for you. One thing that he did to stop you from going the way that your enemy has desired of you. If you can reflect deep down in your heart and know that you are here this morning because of the workings, the power, the manifestations of God. If you reflect back into your family and you see God in your family, Say him glory be to you, Donnie. Glory be to you. Sing hallelujah. Amen. Sing hallelujah. on behalf of my brothers my sisters on behalf of our families on behalf of your church I thank you I thank you I thank you for your mercies for your love for your kindness for the manifestations of your power thank you thank you for what you have done Thank you for your revelations. Thank you for your revelations. Thank you for your instructions. Thank you for your directions. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that is with us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Now, brothers and sisters, with your hands lifted to the heavens, 
When I said I wanted to come up at the choir, our brethren were still singing. It was because the Lord brought something and it passed through my eyes and I saw it. And I had a voice push back, push back, push back. And I want you as a child of God right now. There is, there is, but I don't want to be, don't want you to be afraid at all because Jehovah has taken over. There is an evil, there is an evil orchestrated from the pit of hell that the Lord showed me coming. I heard the voice of the Spirit of God say, push back, push back. And I began to push back while I was standing right there. And that is the first prayer we are going to pray. Every intention, every program, every purpose that the Almighty God has not designed for you, for me, for your family members, for this nation, lift up your hands and push them back. For the Lord has given a charge. Push back. Push back. And as you push, the wind will bring destruction upon that which was coming. Upon that which was coming. Push back. Push back, brother. Push back, sister. Push back in the name of Jesus. I Today, I'm 
am forevermore. It is well. It is well. It is well. Oh Jehovah, it is well with my soul today. Forever and ever, it is. It is well. It is well. of John chapter 16 John chapter 16 verses 26 and 27 the Bible records at that day Jesus our Savior is the one speaking at that day you shall ask in my name and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you for the Father himself loveth you because you have loved me and have believed that I came out from God. Jesus here in this Bible reading as he talked with his disciples told them very plainly something something that the father knew about them who were his disciples. He talked about the fact that he will not need to pray for them himself. Why? Because the Father, the Almighty God, has already known, he has already understood, he has already seen the love of the disciples for him, Jesus Christ. And that is why they will pray. And the Father will not need him to put his voice before he can answer them. The question now is, do you love Jesus? Do you love Jesus? We want our prayers to be answered today in this last Sunday. But this is the thing. Jesus himself say, says very clearly, because the Father already knows that I what about you? That I, I say, what about you? That I love him. That I love him. And that's why my prayers will be answered. Because he knows that I love him. Because he knows that I serve him. Because he knows that I belong to him. Because he knows that I look up to him. Because he knows that without him, I am nothing. What about you? We want our prayers to be answered. My brothers, my sisters, I ask you, if you are here and you have not made peace with God through Jesus Christ, I plead with you with all my heart, this is your time to surrender before we go into the realm of prayers. This is your time to surrender, to surrender and to say, Lord, please have mercy on me, save me. There is no joking in this matter. If you do not love Jesus Christ, if you don't love him, and don't just say, I love him, your actions will testify whether you love him or not. If you don't love him, I charge you by the mercies of God. Let me pray for you for salvation. Can I see your hand up? Can I see your hand? Even if you are online, please, I plead with you, wherever you are, this is a very crucial moment. This is what God wants me to do before we enter into the realm of prayers. You cannot be missing out when God is distributing his goodness to his people. Are you here? And you know with all your heart that if Jesus were to come right now, that you are going nowhere because he has not washed you with his blood. Your sins are not cleansed. You are not forgiven. All your iniquities are still there with you. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter whether you have been in the church serving in the various departments. This time is crucial. I want to pray for you as the Lord has charged me. Can I see you say, Pastor, please pray for me and I will do that right away. Anybody here? This is the moment. Anybody else just help me check out if there's any, just signal to me. I want to pray. This is the way the Lord is leading. That's the way he has charged me to do today. To come and begin to bring in everyone into the fold. That we all may be one before we enter into the Holy of Holies and begin to pray. The prayers that we are supposed to be praying even this very day. Anybody 
We are all saved. Everybody in this sanctuary is saved. You are a follower of Christ. You are waiting for him to return. If that is the truth, then thank you to God. But if it is not the truth, you have done a great damage to yourself. And you still have a moment to rethink and step up with your hands lifted. And if you are online, those of us who are watching online, if you are online following us, I want, to, want you to signify there and let them let me know right now so that I pray the prayer I'm supposed to pray. Please, if there's anybody following us online who wants to turn his or her life over to Jesus, I want you to please do that, write it down, and those our brethren on the online platform, YouTube, Facebook, please get it out and let me know before we move on. I bow down and worship you. I bow down and worship you. Worship you. I worship you. I bow down and worship you. Oh Lord, I bow down. I bow down and worship you. Worship you. I worship you. Jesus, the King of Kings. Jesus, the Lord of Lords. I worship. seven each and every one of us thank you for a lift enlisting all of us into your kingdom and now Lord we come as one people hear us answer us in Jesus name we pray amen you can have your seat God bless you Our text that we read, Isaiah 49, 14 to 19, it began with a complaint, a complaint in the hearts, in the lives of God's people, a declaration by God's people that suggested that the almighty God had forgotten them. That there was no remembrance of them before the almighty God in the heart of God. And they say he has forgotten them. He had forsaken them. And some people are thinking that way too. Even in this service. But the almighty God made a statement emphatic. A statement that the Zion, the Christian, the child of God, that is saying, God has forsaken me. God has forgotten me. That that same fellow, that Christian, you have been engrafted in his palms. Making it completely impossible for you to be forgotten. God wants
wants you to know, brother, he wants you to know, sister, that you cannot be forgotten. And that you are not forsaken. All that is required of us is to trigger his actions. To trigger his move in our lives. And that's what we have come to do in the two services that we are having here today. God can never, we never forget and forsake his own. I want you to know that and I want you to mark it in your notebook, in your Bible. God can never forsake me. He can never forget me. He will yet remember me again and again continuously. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Isaiah chapter 49 that we have read tells us that God, even the most high, I said, there's something very difficult for any woman that is genuinely a woman that is flesh and blood that the evil one has not taken over. He says it's a difficult thing for a woman who carried a child in the womb for nine months, some more than that, some less than that, with all the pain, all the labor, all the discomfort, and then went into labor with a great fight, great determination, with the help of God, that woman delivered that child. It's a very difficult thing for any woman to forget such a child that he, she has given birth to. And the reason is obvious. Because this new woman is aware of what she went through. The labor of nine months, the travail of nine months, the weight of nine months cannot be wasted. That's why many times, many times, women pray more. Let me say most of the time, I think that would be right to say so. Women pray more for their children because they know what they went through to get that child. And God here said, it is difficult for a woman to forget that child. Many times, even when that child is so bad, so disgracing to the family, the father can say, to her with him, to her with her. The mother will still go and cry to God, please, Lord, save my son, save my daughter. Such is the love of a woman towards the children. And God said, anyway, they can forget. Because when Satan takes over, anybody can forget anything. And then he now gave assurance. He himself, even if he sees a woman forgetting that child, himself will not forget. He will not forget you. He will not forget it. Why? Because he knows what Jesus passed through. What Jesus went through. The labor pain that Jesus went through to bring forth each and every one of us. So he said, I will not forget. I will remember. I will not forsake. Rise up. It is time to begin to pray. I've enlisted prayers that we are going to pray. Prayer number one. My Father and my God, I thank you for removing me. <clears throat> removing my transgressions from me and for removing me from all of my transgressions. That is the first prayer that you are going to pray. Because you have been engrafted. God cannot engraft somebody whose sins are still there with him or her. God cannot engraft that person into his palms. No, because God will not associate with sin. He hates sin. He hates iniquity. Therefore, since you said you are a child of God, I want you to pray and tell him, Lord, 
thank you for removing from me all of my transgressions. Thank you for forgiving me all of my sins. Just go ahead and thank him right now. Thank him, thank him, thank him. You are a child of God because your transgressions have been removed. They have been removed. Psalm 103, verses 11 to 14. He says, for us the heaven, Psalm 103, verse 11, up to verse 14. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame. He remembered that we are dust. My brother, my sister, this scripture brings out so many things. It talks about the fear, the fear of God. Do you fear him? Do you fear him? I want you to pray for yourself and say, Lord, please, I beg you, if I have missed it, wherever I have missed it, Daddy, please restore back your fear in my life. Restore back your fear in my life. Restore back your fear in my life, oh God. Let your fear be brought back because I know you have stated you show mercy to those who fear you. Lord, restore your fear in my life. Let me fear you again. Let me fear you again, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I wanted to say, Lord, I come in awe. That's prayer number two. That's where I've enlisted it. Lord, I come in awe of you with utmost fear. Please be merciful unto me. Since he declared that he shows his mercy unto those who fear him. Let him now know, Lord, my God, I come in awe of you. Please be merciful unto me. With utmost fear I come, Lord. Be merciful unto me. Pray very quickly. Pray. All these prayers, do them with all of your heart. With all of your heart. mighty name we are praying number three Lord you know my friend yes he knows your friend brother Lord sister he knows your friend friend Lord you know my friend in other words you know my makeup what I'm made of for you are my maker please have mercy and remember me if you are angry with me please turn away you are wrought from me prayed up. Lord, you know my frame, for you are my maker. Please have mercy and remember me. If, I, if you are angry with me, please turn away your wrath from me. Please, brother, sister, pray that prayer. Pray it with all your heart. 
pray Lord, pray sister, pray to the Lord, pray brother, pray to the Lord. He knows your frame. If he is angry, plead with him. Plead with him and say to him, Lord, please turn away your wrath from me. Turn away your wrath from me. Turn away your wrath from me, O oh God. Turn away your wrath from me. name we have prayed. Psalm 119 verses 132 and 33. He says, look thou upon me and be merciful unto me as thou usest to do unto those that love thy name. Order my steps in thy word. And let not any iniquity have dominion over me. My brother, my sister, the next prayer we are going to pray is O oh God my father. Look into my heart. See and understand that I love you. Please don't turn away from me, but remember me. Please don't turn away from me, but remember me. The issue here is love. It's love. Jesus said, the Father also knows that you love me. Let that love move the almighty God to do something for you. Even today, pray that prayer. Lord, you look into my heart. See that I love you. I love you, oh God, I love you. I love you, I love you. Please, daddy, according to the words of Jesus Christ, by this love, Father, hear me, hear me. Don't turn away from me, Lord. Don't turn away from me. Pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I love you. I say, oh God, oh God, oh God I pray. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Number five, Lord Jesus, my Savior, I love you. I want you to make it clear to him, saying, Lord, I love you with all my heart. I love you with all my heart. I love you with all my heart. Whichever way I may have fallen short, please forgive and correct me in your love. Don't correct me in your wrath. Correct me in your love. I love you. I love you, Jesus. I love you, oh Lord, I do. I love you. Pray, brother, pray, sister. Father, in the name of Jesus, I love you. I love you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Number six, oh God, the way you normally hear and answer those who love your son Jesus Christ. And believe that he came from you to the world to save us. Please hear and answer me today. Please hear and answer me. The way you normally hear and answer those who love your son Jesus Christ. And believe that he came from you to this world to save us. Please hear and answer me. Make that statement to the Lord God Almighty. We are moving forward. We are moving higher and higher. We are now going to enter very soon 
into the realm of the final prayer that the almighty God himself will listen and hear. Pray if you love him. Tell him, you know I love your son. I love you, Lord. I love Jesus. I love him. I love him. That's why I do the things I do, oh God, by your grace. I love him. The way you normally hear and answer those who that love you, that love Jesus, do the same for me, oh God, today. seven. The way you normally do to those people who love your name. I love you Lord and I love your name. That's why I make my the mention of your name almost at all times. I love your name. The way you normally do to those who love your name please Lord remember me because I also love your name in truth. Do you love his name? Begin now to pray. Tell him Lord the way you normally do to those who love your name. Papa, do it for me too. Do it for me. I love your name. 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 I love your name, Lord. I love your name. Likukuski salebra loski salea. Le ambola hebrangoski sala apaleta. Le ambalinga hungo gorokoski salea. Me ampela hila. I love the name of Jesus. I love your name, oh God. Do to me. The way, oh God, the name of Jesus. the things you want him to do. Begin now in the prayer. In the prayer, begin to mention to him you have been asking him to remember you. Remember you for what? Begin now to mention them. One after the other. It is over to you to pray. Call on him. He is here. He has not forsaken. He has not forgotten. He will hear. He will answer. Call on him, brother. Call on him, sister. He is the mighty God. He is the great I am. He is the only one of Israel. He is the mighty one of Jacob. Akila hosu salei. Ibrolo hosu salei. Ima handela. Inela hosu salei aka. Ika handu la lebra lokos kisi. Ishalela baka loko vale atakali. Ili ande la lebra lokos isaleba. Ampre kala la bosu si. Ah. Jesus. 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 Jesus, 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 let our bosses and Thank you. 
Jesus Christ. Because we belong to you. Because we are your children. And you have assured. That you cannot. You have not. And you will never forsake us. You have assured. That you have not. And you will never. Forget us. 
let there be answers to prayers. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God and my Father, anyone that asks for healing, let it be given in the name of Jesus. Anyone that asks for deliverance, let it be given in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that asks for promotion, let it be given in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone that asks for blessings of any kind, Lord, let it be granted in the name of Jesus Christ. You are the God who makes a way where there is no way. Lord, I thank you because you have remembered us. I thank you because you have heard us. I thank you because you have answered us. I thank you because your name shall be made known once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Brother, lift up your hands to the heavens. Lift it this way, Lord, I'm lifted. As if you are waiting for something to drop. To drop and be very cautious of it. Put it in your hand as someone who is waiting for something to be dropped. The almighty God who has remembered you this day. Drop into those hands what you have asked of him. Receive it in the name of Jesus. You can now close those hands. You can close it and bring it to your heart. Say, Lord, I receive it. Lord, I receive it. And I thank you. 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 It is done in Jesus' mighty name.